by today's video it is my Disney Squishmallow collection I have so many squishies on this bed like this is not even it and I was like okay I have been meaning to do this video for such a long time now and we have did I just knock some down please no okay I did it so I don't know I guess I'll start with this one as it is here so we have cute little Pua so cute oh my gosh I got this one at five below I got a lot of the Disney ones at five below's events and I don't really like to get up early I'm not really a morning person um but for my collectibles I'll do anything so yeah it was kind of crazy the first few times but I'm used to it now and then we have Olaf do you guys get up early to line up or do you just get up and try your luck like let me know down below or do you guys just not do that at all? Let me know down below. I'm curious. Then we have Edna Mood. I had to pick her up. There was quite a few of her at my Five Below because I don't think anybody really cared about her. And then we have Goofy. I had to snag this guy online though because they didn't have him in the stores when he came out and they claimed it was an online exclusive. So I just got him there. But yet I saw a few when I went to the bin. Where's the logic in that? And then... The shipping is like $7.95 too, so it was like really, but at least I have him for my collection. And then we have Jack. Isn't he so cute? Look at his face. Like, that is adorable. And then we have Jack Jack. So cute. There's going to be a big pile of squishies on my floor when I'm done, but I don't care. <laughs> and then we have Elsa. Isn't she pretty? I love the detail on her. She's gorgeous. And then we have Woody and Buzz. They're adorable. It's funny because I wasn't really into Squishmallows and then I got into them. And then when I got like Woody and Buzz and like the Minion Mickey and stuff, that was when I wasn't into them. And um, I have an issue with Five Below. I'm quite obsessed with that store. And then I remember the one day I wandered in with my sister and they had a whole bin of Squishmallows and I guess that's when they were at the peak of getting popular because there were so many when I went in there and I was like I want one of each so I got them and then ever since it's become a problem and I just had to get them all and then we have Pluto but like back in that day I feel like they weren't as big but now the lines are crazy for them and then we have Minnie and Mickey for Valentine's Day, I got my dad Mickey and my mom Minnie as well, so they also have their own plushies. Because who doesn't love a good plush? Like, I feel like that's such a great gift if you don't know what to get somebody. Like, a blanket, a plush, a mug of some sort, and like, like maybe some hot cocoa or like their favorite coffee or something like that. And there you go, such an easy gift if you are stumped. That is so random, but I think, I mean, I have a problem with plushies though. So like you could get me a plush and I'll be happy any day. But I mean, like who doesn't like a good plush? And then we have Donald. Too bad they don't have a daisy. I'm surprised they didn't make that. I took the tags off of those ones. But like the non-Disney squishies, I keep the tags on so I can remember their names. But um, the Disney ones, I know their names so I don't need to keep the tag on. And then we have Sally. I still never got the zero from this line. I'm always lucky, I know, right? And I always get everything, like, in one shot. But of course, for that one, zero was, like, hard to get. But one of the guys at Five Below literally even admitted to me. He was like, I'll tell you the story. I wanted Jasmine and Abu, but they didn't release them when they released the other, like, the previous Disney one that they had. Um, and the, like, previous Disney launch. I'm not being specific here. And... Yet some Five Blows had them when I saw it on Instagram and I was so confused about that. So I went in a few times and the one person told me that they don't put all of them out, they keep them in the back and they sell them another way which is obviously reselling and that's not fair but from like coming from an employee I was like I knew you guys were doing that in the first place but it was like like satisfying to hear that they admitted that they did that. I mean he didn't look like he did it but he was saying like some other people did so I was like alright and then there was one girl being really like 
itchy when I was asking about them and I was being so nice. I was like, excuse me, I just want to know, do you guys have Jasmine and Abu? Because I saw some other Fiblos got them in, but we didn't. And then I checked like three in my area and she was like, we don't have them. If there was there, it would be on the floor. I was like, I was just asking. No need to be all like catty. I was just asking a question. I don't know why when it comes to like Funko Pops and like squishies and stuff, people get so like defensive. It's crazy. And then we have Stitch. He's cute. Yeah, I don't know. Do you guys have any weird stories with collectibles? Because I would love to hear them down below. I know I read a lot of them in those chain comments on Instagram, but I'm curious to hear from you guys if you guys ever had any issues like this because I would love to know. I always have these problems, but yeah, we have Dumbo. Oh, the ear got bent because it was in one of those, um, these things. My parents found two of these for me and they were really cheap. I forgot, like, they, they got them really cheap. I don't know if it's like less than five dollars for both of them and then I just put my squishies inside and we have baby Nemo I got Nemo on Mercari this one I saw the like seven inch Nemo when Five Below had that other Disney launch which they have been doing a lot lately and I was like since I already have that Nemo I didn't want another one and then I got the Nemo and Dory for my younger sister Sarah because she loves finding Nemo and then I regretted not getting a Nemo for myself and it was too late he was gone so I was like all right so that's how that's going to go and then we have Oogie Boogie And then this one I got on Mercari for only $11 somebody was selling it for and the shipping was free. That's a steal. And Boo was attached to Sully but um, she came apart. Like it came apart when I was packing it up. I was sad about that but eh, put that down there. And we have Moana. She's so cute. I love this. And then we have Anna. Anna, I had to get off of Mercari as well. Um, so Sully and Boo I got on Mercari. Anna I got on Mercari. And then Goofy I got on the Five Below site. That is empty. And then we have Carl. I wish they had an Ellie. I know she dies in the movie, but it would be nice to have an Ellie. And then Doug. I got my mom. Carl and Russell because they had so many left over but Doug was like gone and I wanted to get her Doug I regret it because she loves doggies and then she said she would have loved to have a dog and I kept going and calling and they had no more dogs so I was really upset she didn't know that there were going to be up ones Russell and then Marie I believe I had to buy her on Mercari as well I am stupid though when they first came out with the Disney line at five below like with the mickey and all of them um she was there and i don't know why the heck i didn't pick her up there was only one and then when i went back it was gone so i don't even know it's real smart sam i mean like she wasn't there so i had to end up getting her on mercari so that's how that went moral of the story just pick it up and then you know keep it until you know if you're going to buy it or not because then you lose out <laughs> so I don't know why I did that but that's when I was like new to the whole squish thing I didn't know that it was that serious and people got like really crazy for them like they do with Funko Pops and I don't know why everything I love and I'm interested in revolve like it revolves around being like secretive and crazy because Funko Pops are like that to get and squishies are like that it's like anything that I collect kind of just is crazy I, I don't know why like what happened to when you could just walk into the store and just buy something without being problematic with like having like the employees being problematic with you and like other people like I where's the logic in that <laughs> I don't know and then we have Dory see I got the Dory but I didn't pick up Nemo why did I do that I don't know and it's probably going for an arm and a leg and on uh, Mercari so I'm not going to do that and then we have lightning He's a cutie though, like this is really cute. I did a giveaway and I gave one of those away, a lightning and some other stuff and then I just did another giveaway but I already picked the winner for that one. But I will be doing some more so just keep an eye out. And then we have Forky. This was definitely a must though, I had to get Forky. And then I got this on Mercari, it's Fantasia Mickey. You guys know I love Fantasia Mickey. I say that all the time. And then... Ariel. This was from the like last Disney one that they just did. 
and I already have a bigger Ariel from Target <laughs> and it was only six dollars so I was like I don't need to get this Ariel from the Five Below launch but when I got there in person and I saw her I was like I want her even though I already have a bigger one I don't know why I'm like this why am I like this I don't know I just said that but yeah I got her then we have the alien from Toy Story this one was really selling out, and so was like Forky and stuff. But my Five Blows had a lot of um, Lightning and Edna Moon and Jack Jacks and a lot of Carl and Russell. I don't know why. It's surprising, actually. It is. And then these ones I got on eBay. I actually thought they were the bigger ones, and when they came and they were small, I was upset because the person put the wrong label. And when I reached out, they didn't get back to me, so I just kept them. And these were expensive because I thought they were the big ones. That's how that worked out. I don't know. I mean, I do luckily love Monsters Inc. as you can tell. So, I mean, but I don't know. People are just people. And then we have Flounder. Cutie. My floor has so many squishies. <laughs> and then Lumiere and Belle. Adorable. I love it. I love her detail on the back. A lot of people were complaining about the Disney squishies on Instagram and then in person. It's a whole new ball game. People go crazy. So once again, where's the logic in that? <laughs> but I was like, hey, if you complain about it, it's more for me because I love the Disney ones. So, And then we have Mike and Sully again. I didn't realize I have like three Sully Squishmallows. A small, medium, and large. Literally. Wow. Okay, Sam. And then... We have Jasmine and Abu. I had to buy this from a reseller. I paid $25 for them together. It was, the shipping was included with that. So yeah, cause I wanted them that badly. And if you're not gonna give it to me, I mean, I might as well pay the reseller because where else would I get it from? Then we have Lock, Shock and Barrel. Where is Shock? Okay. I'm sitting on her. She's cute. Doo, doo, doo. Okay, and then Barrel. Look at his teeth, he's so cute. My Walgreens is just a waste of time, honestly. They never have any squishmallows that I want. I think they just directly, like, I think they just go from the truck to the resellers, in my opinion, and um. People act really sketch sketch when you ask about like squish molds and stuff. So my sister actually bought me all of these big ones on Mercari from resellers. I mean the prices weren't that bad but I mean it could have been cheaper. But you know when you're a hardcore collector and you want your items I guess you will do anything to get them. And then look at zero. I might not have gotten the small zero but at least I have the big one. When I do these kinds of videos I have to be careful that I don't like put it on my face because of my makeup. That wouldn't be good. You don't want to pay so much and then get makeup on your animals. And look at Sally. Isn't she precious? My favorite part about laying in my bed is like I have all my animals piled up so they're- I have so many and I even have more in my basement but that's that's a whole nother story. But yeah and, and like I just like put my hand out or I roll and like all the plushes right there. It's amazing. I love plushes. <laughs> and then we have a bigger Oogie Boogie. Cute. And then we have Mr. Jack himself. He is a cutie. I remember when these were supposed to come out and I saw the picture on Instagram. It was leaked. I called my Walgreens so much and I kept going. And then I think the one morning I was going to wake up at 8 o'clock to go there. And um, good thing I didn't because I they didn't even have them. So I was like, alright, that would have been a waste on my part. And then look at this. Isn't that cool? I love this and I love to display them around Halloween. I had them on my bed last year. I'm going to say last week. Last week was not Halloween, but that would have been amazing. And that is it, my loves. I really hope I didn't forget anything for my Disney Squishmallow collection. Let me know down below if you guys are a squishy collector. Did you get into them or are you not really into them? I have the non-Disney ones back there. Um, I have like a mango, a watermelon. Um, the ones with the boba. I do not like boba, but the boba ones are really cute. 
Once again, where's the logic in that? But yeah, let me know if you guys collect these. Let's chat about them down below. Don't forget to follow me on all of my Instagrams where I do post regularly. I'm very active on there. And then add me on TikTok because I do do like little videos of my collections here and there and like little unboxings and unbaggings and stuff of that sort. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave some comments down below. And with all of that said, until next time, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah!